What's the difference between clean and clean up, or eat and eat up, or use or use up? I know that prepositions, especially with phrasal verbs, can kind of drive you crazy when you try to study English. I'm sure by the end of this lesson, you're going to get it. Let's study together. Hey guys, it's Michael here from Happy English, and I'm back with another phrasal verb English lesson. You know, learning and more importantly, remembering vocabulary is one of the biggest challenges that language learners face. I know this firsthand from all of my years of studying my second language, which is Japanese. That's why I've created my free phrasal verb and vocabulary workshop. And I would love for you to watch it. In that workshop, I talk about everything that you need to know to learn and remember phrasal verbs and vocabulary. Plus, when you sign up for the workshop, you'll get my free PDF guide to learning 50 phrasal verbs, which includes all the tips from the workshop. So just go to myhappyenglish.com slash workshop to get yours. I'll put a link in the description below. And remember, it's absolutely free, and I'm sure you're going to get a lot out of it. And now, on to today's English point. We have a number of phrasal verbs with the preposition up. And in these cases, when we add up to the verb, it means to do that verb completely. Today, we're going to look at eight of these commonly used phrasal verbs. The first one is break up. Break up means to end a relationship. And when you end a relationship, you end that relationship completely. You want to break up with me? I heard that Jack and his girlfriend broke up. They broke up? We've been together for so many years, I can't believe she wants to break up with me. She wants to break up with them. Next is chop up. Chop up is used when we talk about cooking, when you cut vegetables or meat into small pieces. In other words, you cut those items completely. When you make tomato sauce, the first thing you need to do is to chop up several cloves of garlic. I had a couple of carrots left over, so I chopped them up and added them to my salad. Next is clean up. Clean up means to clean something completely. I remember when I was a kid, my mom was always yelling at me to clean up my room. Let's clean up this room. I think we need to clean up the office before the boss gets back from his business trip. Next is drink up and eat up. When you drink up, you drink something completely. And when you eat up, you finish everything that's on your plate. Last night at the party, we drank up all of the beer, so we had to go out and get more. Drink up! <laughs> Make sure you eat up all of your vegetables. Eat it up, eat it all up. Finish up. Finish up means to finish something completely. I can't leave the office tonight until I finish up all of my work. Finish it up. You have to finish up all of your homework before you start watching TV. Next is pack up. Here too, pack up means to pack something completely. Last year when I moved out of my office, I packed up everything in one weekend and took it all home. Let's pack it up, people. Ah, the vacation's over. I guess we need to pack up and go home. And the last one is use up. Use up means to use all of something. In other words, to use it completely. I used up all of the milk when I made pancakes for breakfast this morning. Use them up. I went hiking yesterday and I used up all of my energy on the last hill. Well, it looks like I've used up all of the time we have for today's English lesson. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Remember to leave your comment below and I'll catch you guys next time right here at Happy English. Catch you later.